वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग टूटोरियल्स इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेनिंग बेसिक प्रॉपर्टीज एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ कॉपर एंड इट्स एलोए सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द बेजिक पार्ट ऑफ द कॉपर एंड इट्स एलोए सो बेसिकली कॉपर डेट विल बी एक्सट्रेक्टेड फ्रॉम इट्स ओर्स थ्रू अ सीरीज ऑफ द प्रोसेसिस ए कपल ऑफ लोकेशन वेयर कॉपर ओर्स आर फाउंड इन इंडिया आर खित्री इन राजस्थान एंड गदशिला इन बिहार बेसिकली द कॉपर पाइराइट्स आर द मेन और यूज टू एक्सट्रेक्टिंग द कॉपर सो डेट विल बी अवर रो मटेरियल एंड फ्रॉम दिस वी आर एक्सट्रेक्टिंग द प्योर फॉर्म ऑफ द कॉपर सो एन इलेक्ट्रोलिटिक प्रोसेस इज प्योर कॉपर डिपोजिटिंग ऑन टू द कैथोड डज नॉट फाइनल रिफाइनिंग it gives highly purity about 99.9 percentage of the copper which is remelted and cast into the suitable shapes and that shapes it will be used for the different applications after this the different properties and uses of the copper and its alloy so copper having an excellent resistance to corrosion it never corroded and that will be also having a good ductility as well as the conductivity and copper that will be having a non magnetic properties it is very soft malleable ductile and flexible so easy to work or can say it will be having a such kind of properties that's why you can make the wires from the copper because it will be having a good malleability ductility flexibility so you can use anywhere high heat and electrical conductivity so it is used in wire and sheet form for the electrical purposes melting point of the copper is above 1000 degree centigrade so approximately 1083 degree centigrade melting point of the copper it is tough and strong so in jewelry industries copper it will be added into the gold for providing strengthening to the jewelry components it can be easily polished plated and processes a pleasant appearance it can be soldered braced or welded copper having a good machinability so you can easily converting into desired shape and size as per the requirement of the applications if you want to make the wires so you can scratch that material from the die materials and you can easily converting into the thin wires that would be used for transmitting the electricity after properties the different applications so electrical parts because of the good conductivity copper it will be used in many appliances heat exchangers to exchange the heat between two mediums or materials so you can use this because of the good conductivity screw machine products for making various copper alloys such as brass and bronze so later on we discussing in this video what is brass and bronze with its applications copper may be cast forged rolled or drawn into the wire so you can use any kind of manufacturing process to converting into desired shape and size and that will be depends upon the complexity of my job copper in the form of tubes is widely used in a mechanical engineering to transfer the hot gases cold materials or you can say refrigeration air conditioning heat exchanger applications copper pipes it will be having a wide applications it is used for making use for alloys with the tin zinc nickel and aluminum for increasing the properties of the material so basically copper alloys that would be two types that we discussing brasses and bronze so brasses means it will be the mixture of copper zinc alloy in case of the bronzes it will be made with the copper tin alloys so if you talk about the copper zinc so it will be nothing but brass and if you talk about copper tin so it will be my bronze so by 
making the brasses or bronze both are having a different properties and different applications so let's start with the first one and that will be my brass so brass we already know that copper zinc alloy so various types of brasses depending upon the proportion of the copper and zinc or you can say weight percentage of the copper and weight percentage of the zinc it will be further converting into different kind of alloys so by adding small quantities of the another elements the properties of the brass may be changed and due to that change it will be having a wide applications in the field of engineering so brasses are very resistant to atmospheric corrosion and can be easily soldered they can be easily fabricated by the processes like spinning and can also be electroplated with the metals like nickel and chromium all brasses are basically alloys of the copper and zinc and there are main two types of brasses first alpha brass so you can say up to 37% of zinc with the cold working process and alpha beta brass so in that case 33 to 46% of the zinc for hot working so let us start with the alpha brasses are very ductile and can be readily cold worked without any chance of the fracture so they can be cold rolled into the sheets drawn into the wire drawn into the tubes so alpha brass having applications like manufacturing of the wires and tubes as the proportion of the zinc is being increasing the strength is also going to increase and due to that ductility that will be decrease so they are work hardened when subjected to intensive cold working but ductility can be regained by annealing them at 600 degree centigrade so by the annealing process your material becoming softer so it will be increasing the ductility if it will be required slow cooling provides the maximum ductility then alpha beta brass loses strength at the high temperature but becomes very plastic so each and every materials it will be having a tendency to change the characteristics at the higher temperature it responds very well to hot rolling hot stamping and castings when cold work fractures are always likely to be developed So, in case of the hot working process, it will be easy going process to converting our raw materials into finished product. But if you work with the cold working process to converting my raw material into desired shape and size, so such kind of problems is being faced. After this, admirably brass. So, admirably brass is a version of the brass. that contains 70% of copper 29% of zinc and 1% of tin admirably brass is available in the form of sheets and tubing admirably brass tubes having a good corrosion resistance and are specially used for the steam condensers cool with the fresh salt or you can say breakfast water then moons matter there is also the brass alloy so moons metal is the form of alpha beta brass with the percentage of 60 copper then 40% of the zinc and a trace of iron moons metal and yellow metal are moon alloys must be work hot and it is used today for the corrosion resistance machine components so most of the machine components it will be replacing by the moons metal that will be having a good property of the corrosion resistance and many more so alpha beta or can say the duplex metals contains both alpha and beta phases in the structure the alpha phase refers to the crystal structure that is face centered cubic while beta phase is body centered cubic after this naval brass so naval brass is the classic marine high strength corrosion resistance alloy containing with the 60 percentage of the copper 0.75 percentage of the tin and rest of the others as a 39.2 percentage of the zinc so mainly it will be the copper and zinc 
so this material it will be used in the marine construction where the strong corrosive resistance and hardness is required for your applications and this will be best suited for the salt bath and fresh water applications so admirably brass naval brass moons metal are also used for the ship fittings condenser tubes preheaters heat exchangers and many more applications nowadays after this now we will discussing with the bronze so bronze is nothing but it will be the copper and tin alloys and basically these alloys with the aluminium silicon beryllium which may also contain no tin are also known as a bronze alloy so basically bronze means copper tin alloys so bronze are beautiful golden color as in brass both tensile strength and ductility of the bronze is increasing with increasing the tin into that content so addition of the tin to copper up to the 10% increasing the strength hardness and durability of the material and that will be much greater extent than addition of the zinc to copper so in case of the bronze tin is commonly used so first one the phosphorus bronze so addition of the 0.5% of the phosphorus to tin bronze result the production of the phosphorus bronze because phosphorus will add it so due to that addition of the phosphorus the fluidity of the molten metal and fine castings can be made then lead bronze so now addition of the lead so it will becoming the lead bronze so result in the production of the lead bronze that will be the source of the weakness but the adds of the machinability and has self lubricating properties usually lead percentage does not exceed 2 percentage after this gun metal so in case of the gun metals that will be containing 2 percentage of the zinc 10 percentage of the tin and 88 percentage of the copper so this is the very famous compositions and this bronze is used for bearing bushes glands pumps valves and many more applications in the field of engineering then bell metal so it is the tin bronze but having a very high percentage of the tin 20 to 25 percentage so it gives a good tickling sound on being struck with a hammer so all their religious locations you will find the bell and that bell material it will be made with this kind of bronze materials the following the various varieties of the bronzes with tin are commonly used as a aluminum bronze so in that case of the 14% of the aluminum raised copper that will be having a good strength and good corrosion resistance color that will be the green yellow often used for costume jewelries then silicon bronze so the composition 1 to 4 percentage of the silicon raised mainly copper that will be having a good resistance of the corrosions that can be cold work strain hardened but used for the boiler lifting and marine fittings then manganese bronze so 40% of the zinc 55 to 60 percentage of the copper with 3 to 5 percentage of the manganese that will be having a good properties and basically used for the ships propellers so specific applications then beryllium bronze beryllium is a very costly so this is the alloy and it will be containing 2 percentage of the beryllium it has the very good mechanical properties and can be cold work age hardened and mainly used for the bellows board and gauge tubes etc so i hope you can understand this if you like this then subscribe and share thank you so much and keep watching